You too, it's a goddamn idea, man. It's funny, only pal. Happy! And we are back with another video. And today I just want to come up here and talk to y'all very quick about, uh, you know, what it costs to start a vending machine business in this year, 2022. Because last year's price is for sure not this year's price. And I'm gonna break it down to you. So before we get into that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 5K. And uh, we, we still grinding, man. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about how much to start a vending machine business this year. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. All right, so look, bro, right now, we're in a time where it's, it's tax season. People getting their little tax refunds back and all that. Shout out to y'all, getting y'all, getting y'all money, y'all all our money back. And uh, people are looking looking for things to start, niggas the thing to get into, invest in, you know, so they can make more money on the side than from their nine to five. You know what I'm saying? I totally understand that. And the vending machine industry is the perfect business to get into, okay? It don't take much. It don't take much to get it started. This year's price is for sure, not last year's price, all right? So I'm gonna give you a breakdown on how much it takes realistically to start a vending machine business. And I'm also gonna give you a number uh, that I would recommend you have set to the side. You know what I'm saying? Just just to feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? You might wanna spend, spend the extra here building your business, you know what I'm saying? And you, you can do that because you got the little extra cushion, all right? So, it can take between 1500 to 2000 to start a vending machine business. 1500 on the low end, 2000 on the back end, or the high end, I should say. You can find a good, decent machine for about 1K. I've been seeing some price between 1000 and 1500. Now, that's just a, a solid used one. Now, a good refurbished one, that can, that can, that can hit you for about between 2000 and 2500. Somewhere in between them, okay? Because inflation is real. Everything's going up. You know what I'm saying? Labor's going up, demand's going up, gas going up, everything going up. Shit, water going up. So yeah, uh, the prices are slightly different from last year, okay? But you can get a, a silent machine, just for, your, just for your first one. If you don't wanna go the new route, you can find a good one for 1K. Now, this is one machine, 1K. Now, for this one machine, it could take $250 to fill it up on the first go round. Now, the first go round means your machine is empty. All right, so if you got a drink machine or a common machine, most likely. People, I'm seeing that the, a lot of these, these places, these businesses, they want combo machines, all right? Because they just don't know. Now, if it grows and they be like, all right, we need two separate machines, we need a snack and a drink machine, then we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for the most part, People want combo machines, and you can feel that, and that whole thing up for $250, all right? Now, you also need $50 worth of coins. You need quarters, nickel, dimes, and uh, dollar coins, okay? $50 worth of that, because some people don't use their car readers, and they use uh, dollars, and they put in two, three at a time, you gotta get changed. You know, you, come on now. You gotta make sure your coin make is dispensing out change, so you gotta have change in that bit. So $50 worth of coins, to put into your vending machine. And probably the most important one, if you wanna hurt yourself, you need movers. Now that can cost between $100 and $200. You can do it yourself, but if you're not really, if you never moved a vending machine, I like shaped it, but I like actually like moved it, I would recommend, you know what I'm saying? So get you some professional help, $100, $200. Anything over 200, they're trying to, they're trying to rip you off. Okay, so all that total is 1500 on the on the low end, but 2000 on the high end. Now, what I recommend you start with when you start your uh, vending machine business, at least come to the game with like $3,200, okay? Because like I said earlier, you, you can find a, 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 a good used one for a thousand, but those machines are going up. Those same $1,000 machines are also $1,200, $1,500. Hell, the good, the good used refurbished ones, $1,700, $2,000. So, you know, you come to the game with $2,000. I mean, you come to the game with $3,200 to 
2,000 of that, you still got some more left over to get everything else that you need. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people think it has to be perfect. You don't have to have an LLC and all, all this stuff situated because nine times out of 10, your first location is not gonna be a a big location, meaning like the, the big gyms, the, the hotels. Now those machines, I mean those locations, you wanna have your P's and Q's, you know what I'm saying? Because they already know what time it is. They know how much the machines can make. They know about commissioning. They So you gotta be prepared. You gotta have insurance and all that stuff. But for the most part, it's gonna be one of your little mom and pop warehouses, stores, your first location. And people don't, they just, they just want snacks and drinks for their for they, uh, employees, okay? So they don't wanna be too technical. So you don't have to be, it, has, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just start, okay, just start. Now, another hidden expense that a lot of people don't talk about, credit card readers. This is 2022, people not carrying cash like that. Hell, they got Apple Pay, Google Pay, all types of pay. You just use, use your phone. Now, uh, credit card readers are $299, $300. But if you use my NIAS code down in the description, you will say 7%, okay? 7% of 300 is, Hey, I don't know, but I know you saving some coins, all right? So that three hundred dollars, that's not in that's not in that fifteen to two thousand dollar price range I was talking about earlier. You know what I'm saying? But since you got the extra cushion, you'll be good. You're okay with with having to pay that that three hundred, okay? Now, do all do all machines need car readers? No, but do you want one? Yeah, because it increased sales. You know what I'm saying? So. That's just something to think about when you're starting this vending machine business. Uh, Fifteen hundred to two thousand can get you started, but to be comfortable, I will start between three thousand and thirty-two hundred. You know what I'm saying? But that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Hopefully, y'all learned something. If y'all did, please leave a like button and uh, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram. I also have a big, I have a, I, I got some, I got some news coming. I got a meeting Saturday, so I'm gonna bring that to you for my trail folks. But uh, I don't wanna hold y'all too long. This quick little video. Appreciate all the love and support. 5K on the way. And I'll check you out next video, bruh. See?